Welcome to applying a conditional format to the pivot table data. Exercise number seven from the Microsoft Excel Custom Classroom Advanced Level Training Manual brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. Now in this is a continuation to the last video tutorial in creating a pivot table and then modifying the data. Now, now that we have our pivot table created, in many cases, it's nice to format this a little better for the people that you're going to be sending this to, or even for yourself. As it stands, if I look at this data, it all has a counting format, and it otherwise is a little tough to read. I want to be able to have the data pop out at me, meaning, you know, to identify quickly the highest values and separate that from the lowest values. So what I want to do is apply a, a conditional formatting. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the range that I want to apply the, the conditional format to, which is B5 through J25 in this case, basically excluding the grand total column and row. From there, I'm going to come to my Home tab, and in the Styles group, I'm going to click the conditional formatting. Now, there's different kinds I can choose from here, but for our this exercise, for this video, I'm going to go to Color Scales. And then our training manual tells us to come to the red, yellow, green color scale. And if we look at this, as I cursor over that, over each of these, it gives me a preview. So if I look at this here, I can see that the 41,120.95 is identified in red. And then if I look to the left of that, the 48,384.66 is a little darker, is a little bit darker red. And then far left to that, under Andrew, 56,292 is even darker. So it's a scale. If I cursor over each of these, I can see that I have a different format that I can apply. And I, for that matter, I'd encourage you just to choose the one you like the best. For me personally, I happen to like this one, the green and white color scale. It identifies the highest values right off the bat. Uh, so we're going to click this red, yellow, green color scale for to follow the, the training manual. And then I can deselect this. If I click off my pivot table, you'll notice that the pivot table list goes away. If I click back on here, it comes back. So I'll deselect this. And now I can send this off to, let's say it's an executive management board and then they can then look at a glance and really appreciate the fact that the values are separated out by color scales again like I mentioned a little darker red this is a little bit lighter this one's a little bit lighter and lighter and so on and even the greens are even shades so that's all the time I have for conditional formatting in a pivot table data Thanks for joining me. And if you didn't know how to do this before, now you know. And again, I encourage you to share this with whomever might need help with it. Thanks, take care, and don't forget to comment.